We have upper limb. Upper limb has a journal and has free part. Free part consists of the arm, muscles of the forearm, muscles of the hand. And uh, muscles of the jiggle divided into two groups anterior group and posterior group mm -hmm. and lateral. Anterior group it is only one muscle. Subscapular muscle. Subscapular. Posterior group include the supra spinatus, infra spinatus, and teres. Teres. Mm. teres major and teres, teres major. major muscles. And one deltoid, deltoid large one muscle, which consists of the three. Portion posterior, middle, and anterior portions. That's why we have three directions of the movement by this muscle. It has attachments to the shaft, and on the shaft it has tuberosity, the tuberosity of deltoid. Yes. Function of all of this muscle except deltoid. It is a rotator cuff of the humerus mm. or humeral. Uh, joint. Yeah. joint. It means all of them rotate our Shoulders. Shoulders. Uh, and we have abbreviation of it. It is a seats. Supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres, myroid minor, and subscapular. Hmm. Seats. S T S. S H E. Okay. On this region, we have next topographical units. It is the first one. Axillary force, a large one unit, which consists a lot of vessels, nerves. Vessels, nerves, lymphatic nodes, etc., etc., etc. But walls of this fossa, first of them, anterior fossa it is the pectoral mire. Yes? Posterior it is the latissimus dorsi one. Yes? Medial it is the serratus anterior. Lateral it is the humeral shaft. Also in the this region we can see the scapula. This is two walls. This anterior posterior and two sides, lateral and medial wall. Medial wall is serratus anterior. On the corpse we will see it again. Okay, this axillary fossa. Next one, we have next communication of this fossa. First one with the serratus space, yes, interscalenus space, yes. The, ex I the subclavian artery and brachial plexus passed there. You, we continue yeah. previous topic to this. Yes. And next one, this is two. This is two openings here. This is quadri and three lateral. Mm -hmm. It just looks like this. Quadri. Quadri, quadri lateral. Quadri, and, quadri lateral. And three lateral, like this. Okay. It looks like three lateral. It is the supra spinatus or or scapula, yes. This is teres minor. This is long head of the triceps, yes. And we have three angular or three sides, three lateral, quadrilateral. It is the teres, same teres, same long head of the triceps and scapula and humerus. Mm -hmm. Why it is necessary? Because through these openings we have passing some arteries. For example, axillary nerve and collateral uh, collateral circumflex artery Artric. of humerus path there means if you laying a lot on your shoulder or somebody laying on your shoulders you have weakness of your hand because this axillary nerve and this artery compressed. We can syndrome. syndrome. Or this one. <laughs> okay, next one. Shoulder. On this shoulder, you can see the the absent one anterior group of the muscle. Means arm has two groups of the muscle. It is the anterior group and posterior group. Anterior group include brachial muscle. Here we have it. It is brachial muscle. This one brachial muscle, large one. Yes. Maybe here we can find it. This one, this, and this one. Two heads of the biceps, long head and short head. But long head looks like a short bread because it has less bellow, bellow. but la long tendons. Understand? This is long head and short. 
Biceps. Yes. Function of it. It flex elbow joint. Posterior group of them. It includes. Okay, here. You also can see these two structures. Yes. Quadrilateral and trilateral space. Okay. On posterior side, we can find the. Triceps, only one muscle, which has a long head, medial, and uh, lateral. Understand? Medial, lateral, and long. All these heads form the next, the spiral canal. Spiral canal, which contains to the cubital fossa and radial nerve pass there. Radial nerve. This is a spiral canal here. Yes? Or here. Here we have it. Stand. On the curve we will see it. Or here. Yes, the radial. Okay, this was triceps. Next one, forearm. But previously we must name first muscle. It is an anterior group of the muscle which we name flexors. All of them flex the wrist and hand. Yes, first of them it is the brachioradial muscle. Brachioradial muscle. Origin from brachial or arm or humerus to the radial bone. It means it flex the elbow joint and pronate. Or supinate, supinate the hand on this function. Oh, hello. Yes, yes. Good day. Good day. Good day. Okay. Uh, and we have rules of 3B. It means three muscles which flex the elbow. B, biceps, biceps. Yes. B, brachial. And B, brachial radial. Three muscles which flex the elbow. Next one about the anterior group. We name this one. This is brachial radial. Yes. Next one. We must put uh, put our hand on like in this position, and our pollux, our large thumb, yes, must put on the elbow. Yes. And we have four fingers there. This is four muscles, four main muscles. First one touch to the, like this. First one touch the radial. It is flexor carpi radialis. Second one, it is the palmar flexor. Yes, palmaris longus. Yes, next one. Хорошо. Flexor, mm -hmm. palm, 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 what it do? Flex the, Flex the palm. 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 Or next one, flexor digitoris superficial. Superficial. What it do? It flex the digits, the fingers, your fingers. Second and last one. This is. Mini me. Mm. No, it touch to the ulna. It means ulna. flexor carpi ulnaris. But between it we have flexor the pronator teres. Means first flexor carpi radialis. Mm. Second pollicis longus and flexor digitis superficialis. Next one. This is pronator teres and Touch to the ulna. Ulnaris. Uh, Flexor carpi ulnaris. ulnaris. Yes? This all muscle. This is superficial muscle. <coughs> Next one, deep muscles. It is very similar. It is flexor. Polycis longus. And flexor digiti profundus. profundus. And in the deep we can find pronator quadratus. Yes? Pronator teres, pronator quadratus. That's all. This is superficial group of the muscle. Yeah. Posterior group of the muscle or extenders. First of them we can find superficial one. It is the 
extensor digitorum superficial. Next one. If we have superficial, we also can find the div one. Yes, div one, but it has a parts. The extensor indices. Yes, extensor indices. Longus and brevis. Longus and brevis. And we have abductor policies yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Yes? And all of them form the anatomical snap box. Mm -hmm. Snap box. Snap, snap box. Snap box. Snap box. Snap box. Snap. Okay. okay. This is anatomical snap box. Okay, next. In the deep we can find what is the muscle? Extensor carpi. Yes? And extensor digiti minimi and others and others and others. You can name all this muscle. Next question is the topography. On this region, first of the topographical unit is the first main and large one. This is a cubital fossa. Border of it is the brachial, the biceps, brachial, and and what? Brachial radial and and this group of the muscle. Teres, pronator teres, and all these muscles, yes, they form the cubital fossa. This cubital fossa communicate with the two groups, radial and ulnar, and medial, or means space, intermuscular space, space of the pirogo, yes, which contains to the wrist canal, wrist canal, yes, and in the medial sides, medial side here, you can find the ulnar artery, ulnar nerve. In the, in the ra radial or lateral, we can find radial artery and radial nerve to the anatomical snuff box. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, radial canal, radial groove path to the and communicate with the snuff box. And here we can find the artery, artery. and nerve. But this space between the muscle and the muscular space communicate with the wrist canal. And this wrist canal co has only one muscle, um, only one nerve, median nerve, and all the tendors of the ex flexor digitorum. Yes? Yeah. That's why when you work with your fingers a lot, you have problems with the flexion and abduction of the thumb. It means you have some profession which needs to work on the fingers. Doctors, physicians, workers, writers, singers, musicians, all of them. Musicians. Uh, all professions which use the small motoric of the fingers, all of them has problems with the wrist canal. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Or weakness yeah. of this region. Why? Because the tenders can compress this nerve in this region. Next one. The palmar region. The hands has two the palmar region and dorsal region. In the palmar region we have two geographical units. This is the tenor eminence and hypothyroid eminence which muscle belongs to both of them you can name at home for example abductor opponents abductor yes and opponents understand and abductor also all of them make a intermuscular space or middle space of the head which communicate with the with the what what is it? it is canal. Canal. Okay, posterior. Posterior also has some similar groove, but it has a vaginas of the standards. Which is necessary to understand because medial finger and and the ring finger doesn't have specific vagina vagina, but index and Minimus and little finger and thumb has have, have similar. That's why if we have some pus or some inflammation of the little index or uh, thumb. Thumb. thumb, yes, we have problems which communicate to the hand. But we have if we have some inflammation in the 
middle or ring finger we doesn't have this process this if we have inflammation of the previous fingers this inflammation can pass to the hand after to the forearm that's why if we will, will took some laboratory analysis of the examination of the blood we use the ring finger yes. Mm. Yes? yes because we don't want to get some inflammation to make some flag in this region. That was the upper limb.